Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Shaman in the arena. We have zero wins so far and two losses, so uh, let's let's win some games, alright? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's toss all of this and see if we can get a real two-drop. Especially since we don't have the coin, so what we need is a two-drop. Otherwise we have to rely on a totem. What the heck? I've used you. The last loss. Alright, so end turn here. And then we actually have a nice two drop. So I've had one arena before on video where I got zero win. So I hope to not get a second video here. And I think actually overall. In my life in Arena, I've had two arenas where I got zero losses. That one that's on video, and then another one that... Uh, yeah, let's play the fair thing. And another one was the very first arena I ever played. Like the free one you get when you first start the game. Yeah, I got zero wins in that one too. I kind of thought I knew what I was doing back then, but honestly, I had no idea. Alright, so we got a one drop. I so this is very aggressive. Do we Yes, I think we kill this one. And then we play the Walking Infiltrator. And I don't wanna play the Murloc Tight Hunter in case she doesn't have any cards to play. I don't wanna give her an easy fire blast target here. So I think we're gonna play the Mech Wolver. And I definitely think I had to kill the Snow Chucker here. Because the nice thing about leaving this one up is that that's a perfect target for our Walking Infiltrator. Which is why she decides to trade here, because she doesn't want to lose it so easily. Unfortunately, we don't really have a great play this turn. The only way to use all our mana would be to play the Murloc Tidehunter here and then a Totem. Question is, is that the best option? I'm thinking maybe play a Demolish. Because it's hard for her to kill it. She could with Fire Blast and by running every minion into it. But also leaves that minion at 2 life, which means we can finish it off with the Walking Infiltrator. And it also means that she would have to Fire Blast. So we do this and then we just end turn. Yeah. It's not great, but I mean, of course, we have to work with what we have. I think Hex would have been even worse. It wouldn't even be the whole free drop that we hexed. It would leave her with a weak mirror image, too. She so doesn't have to fire plant. Let's see if she has a... Oh, she did not have a two-drop to play with it. That makes me quite happy. And actually, we needed that, because we are going to have another weak turn here. Well, let's play a Murloc Tidehunter Totem. And let's just get rid of this one here. So we can keep our Stone Claw Totem instead of just losing it to a 2 2. Finally, next turn, we can actually play a good card here. And you know what? This should be an easy match, right? Because we lost two games. Like, we're supposed to be against someone else who lost. <sighs> okay, come on. I see a lot of strong cards in her deck, but she did have a really weak turn last turn, so... I'll cut her some slack. Let's play this one. And get a damage in. And then, hopefully she plays something good to spell break here. We can spell break plus mana tide, or spell break hex? Kinda doubt that would be the best option. But... I could have gone better. Could spell break our uh, brute. Uh, do that. What else? I just we kind of want to get rid of this one. Of course, we could also spell break that. The thing is, I'm also thinking about the spectrum. If you spell break here, right? Kill that. Hex that. I guess it doesn't matter which one we hex then, if that's what we do. I wonder. Uh, 
that. So hold on, I need to get rid of that. Spell break. Oh. Okay, let's just go for it. We have a lot of hexes, I have to remember this. Kill that, hex that, and turn. And, and at least it stays at 2 life, so it doesn't die to Fire Blast. Yeah, I think this is alright. And then the worst case scenario, we can play these two next turn. Which is not really that bad of a worst case scenario. And then we will be out of cards, except for the one card we top deck here, but then we will draw another one with the mana titles. And if you're lucky, we can get more than one card. It might be worth trying to go for a healing totem here. Okay, let's go for a healing totem. Oh, we got it! That's so good! That is really, really good. Hmm, I think the Spectral Knight is the strongest play here, but I think that Manatite has a good chance of staying alive. Except... Flame Strike. So that makes me go back to the Spectral Knight. Then let's kill this totem here. Oh. Frog. Thank you, Healing Totem. Thanks for not disappointing me. Yeah, Flame Strike would have made that a bad play, these double. Yeah, I've just lost everything. Another Hex would have been. No such luck. Maybe just clear the board here. And then play this one, because it doesn't die to Flame Strike. Yeah, let's just clear the board. And that. The only question is, do you want to play the Mana Tide here? If she flame strikes, we would still have a 6-2. We could use some cards. You know, okay, let's play the Mana Tide. Some card here. No! Oh. Oh. Well, at least it wasn't a 6 6, I suppose. Could have been worse. Still pretty bad, though. Oh, that's not a bad uh, card to get from the Hungry Dragon, actually. I mean, it looks like we are getting at least two cards from our Mana Tide. I think we kill that, right? Because this will be healed up to two life, so it still doesn't die to f uh, Fire Blast. And... That. And then... Let's play a Totem here. I kind of want to play a Totem every turn. That turn... Okay, Taunt him. Exactly what I was hoping for. Because then we can do this. And um, then, assuming she doesn't have Flame Strike, we can get a third card from the Mana Tide, quite possibly. Flame Strike would be less than ideal. Okay, no Flame. Good. Oh, Healing Totem, you're so good. Keeping our minions alive here. Yeah. Why is this game so tough? I mean, we lost two games in a row. But yet, we're still struggling. Alright. So... We don't have any... Well, we actually have a mech we can play later for the power mains. Probably want to play the power mains. And then kill the 4-3. Or maybe the 3. Because... Hex. We could hex. Try and keep this one alive. We have so many hex. We still have two more hexes left in the deck. So. Oh, 
Oh, that, that's not really what I was intending at all. Okay, and then you play... Yeah, let's play this one. It doesn't die to flame strike. Oh, seven, six. And this one keeps it up. So he, she can kill that with fire pass, but then she also has to run this one into it. That's assuming she doesn't have flame strike. But if she has flame strike, we get a 2 1. And this one survives. Unless she runs that into it. Count of Cold. That doesn't seem that's wrong. Oh, oh, she really wants to get rid of the healing totem. <laughs> Is that it? The light does not discriminate. She quits. I wouldn't even mind a wind speaker here to buff this up with her. Interesting. Hmm. This one is already 7 attack. Kill that. So we want to play the wind uh, stop And we want to kill that. Then we want to just play this one. So we go for the face. Play a totem. Return this one home. And we don't play the brute in case he gets flame strike. Okay. I'll be one here. That probably means that she did not have flame strike in her hand. Okay, so we got one win. That means that no matter what, we cannot get a zero win arena here. And I'm happy about that. Now let's see if we can get a few more. Like actually when I first made this deck you didn't see it because I lost the draft. But after the draft I was like not so happy about this deck. And I was saying that 5 wins was pretty much my goal. So yeah I'll keep that goal. Which means that we need to win the next 4 games here. Okay we got an excellent 2 drop. So let's keep that and see what else we can get. I'm so unhappy about that frost shock in particular. I wish I could remember what my other choices were when I picked that one. I mean, it must have been so awful. I think it was like a wisp or something. <laughs> I know I had a wisp I was offered at one point that I didn't pick. I don't remember. Alright, so he plays that, which makes it an obvious mech wobble play here, since obviously we're not gonna play the fairy dragon in the Lebanon. Oh man, I don't yeah, I mean think about how much value that is for the Lebanon player, right? Because it's a one drop versus a two drop, and the other player takes two damage. So pretty pretty awful. So this way he actually spends three mana to kill our minion and a card. For our two men on a card. Problem is we can't take that much advantage of it, the tempo here. Because we, we don't have a free drop. But at least we do have a two drop. So let's get that out there. We're swimming in hexes now. But next turn we can play our fire guard. Destroyer. And he had a weak turn too. Oh. No mind. No, uh, yeah, never mind. He did not have a weak turn at all. In fact, that was... Quite a useful turn. Now, versus a druid, it's pretty likely that our hexes is gonna be very useful. Now, normally the fire guard destroyer is great on turn four, but I'm thinking maybe sentient is better here to protect our fairy dragon. Yeah. Okay. I hope he plays a 5 drop here, that being Hex. Okay, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> Can't Hex that. Ah, well... What can you do? 
Uh, I guess we just play the Fire God Destroyer here. We could also play the Brood. I mean, the thing is, I mean, if we play this, we get overloaded next turn. Let me stuck with 5 mana. And it's not really mana efficient either for this turn, so that's kind of like... I think maybe playing the Brood plus a Totem is better. Alright. Kill... That. Go for the save. That was an obvious kill, because... Although, like, that way he gets less value when he kills the Sentient with the uh, Tiger. Assuming he doesn't play Wrath on it. Alright, no. I wish I had a Fire Elemental. Oh, that's kind of works too. Uh, so maybe just... If I this, kill that. Hex that. Okay, let's just clear the board here. Play. Kill. Done. No. Hex that. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I forgot about that. Ah! You don't hit either. Oh well. The thing is, I wanted to attack with this one first. Because. Well. Where shall I now maybe I could have done that better. Ah, it's alright though. It's alright. So, I think I'm gonna hex this one, and this one is gonna get buffed again. But it's okay, we're just gonna take one more damage to the face. And then, probably play the Fire God Destroyer. We don't have any mechs. That's unfortunate, but it's, it's alright. So, we hex that, kill it. Kill that one with the. Okay. Hex. Yeah, you're gonna get buffed like crazy. Kill that. Go for the face. Play that. It's 50 50. That's fine. He's taking a lot of damage. And then we have Wind Speaker for next turn to try and get lethal in. Well, I guess it won't be quite enough unless we get something. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I see. He wants a lot of little whelps. It does have 1 HP more than I would like it to have, but... I guess we give this one Wind Fury. Then we. Well, I guess we'll end up hitting this one twice, but. Ah, well. We're still fine. As long as she doesn't have uh, the combo in his hand. Which would be extremely unlikely, but hey, it could happen, I suppose. As long as he can't get rid of our Fire God Destroyer, though. Kill that. Snakes. It has to be <laughs> Alright. Then, yeah, we have visible lethal here. No problem. Let's just go for the kill. And even if we needed the 4 extra attack, we could guarantee it uh, with the Wailing Soul. I want the Spellbreaker for that matter. Alright, let's play one more game here and see if we can finish this daily. As well as get some redemption. Or we we'll just lose. Get our two win arena over with, I suppose. Alright, let's see. Let's go for win. And. It is a paladin. Yeah, I would like to kill a paladin here. 
get some revenge from earlier. I think we should keep the Norton since we have the power maze. Um, right, let's do this. And I'm thinking of actually coining out the Tide Hunter, possibly. Or maybe not. Maybe just play this on turn 2, this on turn 3, and try for this on turn. Oh, maybe another one. Hmm. The problem is that this one is, again, it's really weak against shielded minibot, right? Whereas this one actually does all right versus shield. But let's get this one out here. The, f <laughs> the minibot defense. Nah, yeah, she's playing mini butt now. I'm not even scared. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Let's kill. Kill that. And then we play. We could try and keep this one alive for turn 4. Nah, let's just play the Fairy Dragon. And we can just play this on turn 4 as this one dies. That'll be fine. Then we get a 3-4 with Taunt for 2 mana. Worst case, we can play a Totem together with it. And that would be a respectable turn 4. Kill that with the weapon. Well, yeah, that's okay. So we just do power maze. Guide me. Kill that. I mean, I'm tempted to actually kill this one here, simply because I'm a little like thinking blessing of king. But the blessing of kings that's a five. Yeah, you know what, that's okay. Even if he does have Blessing of Kings, it's not the end of the world. He'll most likely make this trade for us. Bring me steel. No Blessing Reporting for duty. I would love to get a 2-drop here, but we got a lot of our 2-drops already. We did get one. It makes no difference which order we play them in. So let's kill that. And... Do we want to play that? Or do we just want to play a totem? No, I want to play this one. I want to get stuff out there while we are ahead. Let's see if you have a silence or something. Why did you say well played? Suspicious. Oh, that's not. Don't have a great play this turn. This would obviously be the worst play, so it's gotta be pretty obvious. Demolisher and Toad. Let me go for the face here. There's no reason to run into his Spectral Knight. And thankfully, we are not too weak against Consecration. Hopefully, our Demolisher can get a hit in. Uh, on this special night, yeah, I think that would probably be good. Even though it wouldn't kill it, but you can't unless it's oh right, if, like an earthen ring Farsi I could target it. I guess that's it. Hmm. Are you ready for this? Hmm. I do have spell damage. But. I think I probably want to play the brute here. Ah, uh, well. Say I go for the face here. Then he will kill that with that. I think I would rather just kill his spectral. Let's just go for it. I got 
I mean, the demolisher was gonna die a terrible death to the Archmage, so I think I'd rather do it this way. Could use one of our many hexes here. Yeah, hex plus wailing soul. Okay, good. Uh, so let's hex. Kill that. And uh, we lose our spell power, unfortunately. Because now a fast jug won't hit that bonus anymore, but I think that's probably worth it in this case. Even though the problem is we can never get really get rid of that totem. Because why would he kill it? Unless he uses consecration, I suppose. Can we get him down below 50? Almost! Wow, we suck. Oh, I guess we could. 7. He only has 15 or less, then this is... I think... Then we would threaten lethal. Force him to do something. You know what, let's go for it. Seems kind of ridiculous, but... I think it kind of works. As long as... I mean, he's a paladin, he doesn't have that much direct removal, right? Actually, he doesn't have any that I can think of. Also, Consecration. Yeah, that Consecration was pretty useful for him, to say the least. Oh well. Am I running out of cards here? I got Destroyer. That's a good one. Which totem we get? Play another totem. Okay, the Fire Guy Destroyer is good. It's hard for him to really kill it without spending a lot of resources. Unless there's another Consecration. Don't have another Consecration. Okay, doesn't look like it does. Drink with me, friend. Oh. Get in there and fight, he has a lot of minions on the board, but they're all kind of small. It's just too bad we don't have any AoE. A oh, lightning storm would be so good. Hex. Not so much. Spellbreaker? Decent, because then we can uh, spell break. Hold them. Do you really want to hack something? Too. I mean, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess the panda's gonna run into a uh, spellbreaker. But it's like, what if you place like a big minion here? Then we really need to hex. Like that. Alright, well, you're gonna get hexed. Let's see what we draw. Not bad. Hex that. Freeze that. And hope for the best. Okay, I mean... It could work. He's gonna run times of that. Now he doesn't really have much left, does he? Oh. Just can't deal with all these tiny minions. <sighs> well, <laughs> no, that, that doesn't help. I 
taunt totem. It it keeps us alive. Drink with me, friend. Barely. What a pro play. These two kill him. Six, seven. I just wish I at least had a lightning storm in the deck to hope for. Because without it, it's like, what are we even hoping for here? Like some kind of taunt? Sentient shield master? Yeah, that... that... No. That just wouldn't be enough at this. Problem is that panda could take a good chunk out of it. Too little, too late. Well, all right, that's the run. Ah, let's just see what we get here. Hope we get some gold. We need it. Expansion is coming. We're well, not gonna get that much gold though. Ah, well, let's. Huh. Oh. Slap. That's not. That's like five dust. That's like the worst. Ugh. Come on, let's get something good in the pack to make up for it. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, for our next arena, we have warrior, mage. Or shaman. Let me know what you think I should pick. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.